Hi everyone. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be showing how you can use uh, freely available imagery from Open Aerial Map as a new map layer in your simple GIS client project. Now, if you're not familiar with Open Aerial Map, uh, I would uh, highly recommend you checking it out. It's a it's a service that allows users to uh, upload and download imagery um, freely and if you did a quick search in your browser window, just open up a browser and do a quick search for open aerial mount. You uh, should get it pop right to the top. And the actual web address is openarealmount.org. And so as you click on this, you'll see, um, you know, their, their website here. Um, and it has, you know, some documentation. If you want to read about uh, all about open aerial map, if you look there about uh, page, you'll see it's a, Really just a set of tools for searching and using satellite and unmanned aerial vehicle imagery. Uh, it's built upon the open imagery network. And uh, all the imagery is publicly licensed and made available um, through the humanitarian open street map teams, open imagery network. So again, it's a great resource um, if you're looking for imagery. And if you really, um, just go back and take a look. You can click on the Start Exploring and it'll, it'll bring you to an overview map. And so this map kind of shows you where imagery is available. Um, here in the panel on the left, it shows you all the latest uploads. And if you give it a second, you'll see these blue squares also highlight. And this will kind of show you where imagery is available. Now, again, there's uh, a lot of areas where there's not imagery available, and even in some of these squares, the imagery that, that's available only covers a very small area. But still, if you have a project or you just have some interest in an area, um, you can click in one of these squares and see uh, what the available imagery is. And so if you actually click in one of these squares, in the panel on the left, it'll tell you all of the images um, available within the selected grid square that you clicked in. And so you can kind of scroll through the list um, as you scroll down and see all of the various imagery that's available. And if you see an image um, that you're particularly interested in, you can always come here. And if you click on one of these uh, images, uh, it'll bring you to information specific around that image. And so in this case, on this particular image, I see who it was uploaded by, um, the date that it was uh, done, the resolution, uh, the provider, and all of that different information. And really, so there's a couple of ways we could use this image. Um, uh, first of all, if you wanted to zoom to the map of where the image is at, you can come here and click on this little menu uh, option that says Zoom to fit imagery to screen, and it'll take you to the extents of the image. So we could actually use it without downloading the imagery if we just wanted to use it as a web mapping service. And so it supports both the tile mapping service or the web mapping tile service um, format. So Simple GIS Client supports both of these formats. And so what you would do is just click on any particular one that you want it to use. And what it will do is copy the URL uh, for that uh, web mapping service to the clipboard. And then on my simple GIS client application, which I already have open, and I see I have my icon here on my taskbar. And if I click on this to bring up my simple GIS client application, I already have the US Street Atlas uh, base map loaded and so now i could just add a new layer that would be that uh, using that url for that web mapping service that we copied from the open aerial map so i just come here to my tool button that says add data as new layer to map and in the left hand panel of the dialog i don't want file based data i want to select the internet mapping service and then on the uh, the pop-up here, I just want to click on the Add and Configure WMS layer, which refers to any web mapping service, whether it's actual WMS, uh, the tile mapping service format, TMS, or the web mapping tile service, the WMTS. Um, so in any case, I just click on Add and Configure, 
Here I can give it the name for the new layer. Um, I could add attribution if I need it to. Um, but what I want to do is I clicked on the TMS uh, button to copy the URL in the open aerial map. Remember, if I go back to the website, I clicked on this link here to copy that URL. So in my setup here in Simple GIS, I need to click on TMS tile set because that's the format of the URL I copied. And just click in the edit box and I can right click and select paste or just do a control V um, to paste the URL into this. Um, the min Z and max Z, um, if you've ever fooled with tile mapping services, that's the scale levels. Now, we really don't know what the scale levels are that are supported. I will tell you that most of these images in uh, the open aerial map are uh, small extent, so they don't support a wide range of scale areas. I haven't found a way to determine what scale levels is actually supported um, at which the image is available. So right now, I think you just kind of have to play with this. And so I'm just going to leave it set to the default, click apply and go ahead and close my dialog box. And I see that it has added the layer to my map. Um, I'm going to turn it on by clicking in the box next to the layer name. So it's the back uh, it gets a little X in the box. But obviously, I can't see the image at this scale. It's too small. And so really, um, you either need to know, you know, exactly where the image is uh, that you're, um, you know, that you're referencing here to be able to zoom to it. Um, or another trick I found is if I go back to the open aerial map website um, where I'm referencing the image. And when I clicked on this zoom to fit image to screen in the URL, one of the things you might notice is there's a latitude longitude coordinate. And so I can use this. I can just take this latitude longitude. So I'm going to click in my URL address bar and I'm going to highlight the latitude longitude part of the URL. And I'm going to do a control C to copy the latitude longitude. And I'm going to go back to simple GIS here on my map. And in my address search bar, I'm going to click in it and right click and select paste and then click search. And it should bring you to that latitude longitude, but apparently I did not copy exactly the URL. Yeah, I got some extra. characters in there. So you have to make sure when you copy that you just get the latitude and longitude. If you copy an extra slash um, or something like that that doesn't belong in the latitude and longitude, it won't find it. So just make sure that you just get the latitude and longitude. And once you paste it in, click search. And it'll actually bring you um, to that latitude and longitude. Now, in this case, I don't uh, still see the image. So I would have to continue to zoom in until the image becomes visible. So I just click my zoom in button a couple of times. And then when I get to the scale, that's uh, one of the scale levels that's supported by the tile mapping service, the image will become available or visible rather. So you see, here's the image that we're referencing now overlaid on my street atlas data. And I can continue to zoom in. I use my zoom direct button to zoom in a little bit further. And I can see that now I have this image available um, that I can use on my map. So that's one way. Um, the other way is let me go ahead and remove this tile mapping image. I don't have to, but just for um, to keep the map clean, I'm going to remove this layer that we just added for the tile mapping service. Because the other thing I'm going to show you is if you wanted to be able to use, and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit on my map here. If you wanted to be able to use uh, the image and let's say even use it offline, 
if you go back to, if I go back to my open aerial map browser window here, I can actually download this image. And so once you've clicked on the image and you're looking at that image at the menu at the top, there's actually a download tool button here. I can click on that download and then just save this TIFF image. So I click on a save as. Um, browsers may vary depending, you know, which browser you're using or how they save downloaded files. Uh, I'm using the Edge browser in this case. And in this part, I just do a save as, and I can select the actual folder location where I want to save the image. So I could just save it as a new TIFF image in that folder. In this case, I'm going to overwrite an existing image here. So I'll just overwrite it, and it just gives it this unique um, name. And I could even change the file name if I wanted to, but I'll just leave it as it is, and I'll just overwrite that mm -hmm. particular image. Select yes. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to go back to Simple GIS. And now in Simple GIS, I'm going to go back to Add Data as a new layer to my map. But instead of selecting Internet Mapping Service, I'll stay on the file base data. I would navigate to the folder where I had saved the image at. And in this case, it was my demo folder. And if I looked in that folder, I should see the image. And in fact, I do. This is the TIFF image we just downloaded. And so I can just double click on that. I'll get a layer properties dialog box if I wanted to change the layer name, any of the scales at which the image would be visible, anything like that. I'm just going to leave all the defaults and click apply. It's going to add it as a new layer in my table of contents. It is added. And now I can just close this dialog box. And now I see the image is available. And also now I'm not dependent upon the scale levels. I'm supported by the tile mapping service uh, from the open aerial map website. It's, it's visible at whatever scale I choose. So the other benefit too, um, with having the image downloaded locally, like I said before, now it's available for use offline. I'm not worried about having to be connected to the internet. Um, I can always have the image available to use on my simple GIS project. And I can also, if I'm unclear exactly where the image is that I just downloaded, I can just right click on the layer and say zoom to layer. And it'll bring me to the extents of the image. And so um, that's how you can use the imagery available from this service in Simple GIS Client. So hopefully this has been useful for you. Um, I think that's a really um, very nice service, uh, this open aerial map. It's just an opportunity you know, to allow users <clears throat> from all over to be able to easily share imagery data, uh, uploading and downloading imagery. And then, of course, you can use it in your simple GIS client project. So um, that's it for this demonstration. Um, please visit our website if you'd like more information about Simple GIS and the Simple GIS client. Again, Simple GIS client is a rich desktop GIS application um, that's available. It comes with a 15-day free trial if you're interested. And you can always visit our website um, to download the free trial. That website is simplegissoftware.com, just all one word, simplegissoftware.com. Thank you.